What's going on, y'all? Uh, today I'm super excited because my band and I get to start recording a new album today. We're looking at doing a, between a three to five track record, and I'm gonna be doing all the production myself. Also, uh, recently I've been doing a lot of recording with just DI guitars and trigger drums, pretty much keeping it all in the box just because that's just what you gotta do sometimes when you're a bedroom producer. However, now we're gonna ditch all that and we're gonna be miking amps, we're gonna be getting real drums and trying to get the best performances possible out of all of us, so should be super sick. When it came to doing Nate's guitars for this album, we mic'd up his Fender DeVille with my AKG C3000 and an SM57. This was on a 10 inch speaker, so it made miking it pretty easy. Next, we ran both of those mics into my ART voiced valve preamp, then into Pro Tools. <laughs> Double tracking with the four mics allowed us to get maximum wideness in the mix because we had a lot of options when it came to panning the four tracks. Alright, well the first half was good, but the second half... That was also kind of sloppy, let's do it again. I mean, because I can't hear the backing track, I don't actually remember where I replaced them. Oh. Do the whole thing? The whole verse. Whole yeah. verse? I want to get it right. Right on. Just give me the last half of that chorus. I want to see if that the harmonies sync up. I'll record it, might as well. Oh, the last half of uh, what we just... Oh, the, sorry, the verse, not the chorus. <laughs> When it came to tracking my bass, I did what I usually do and I put my polytune right in front of the preamp so I could ensure I was always in tune as I was recording my bass DIs. I don't have that much footage of me recording because I was hanging out with the band and we were all kind of shooting the shit as I was doing my parts. However, I did have to get creative and bias when I was building my bass tones because I recently put the fifth string on my bass and upgraded to a five string set so I didn't have as round and warm of an indie rock tone as I had had before. Oh shit. The gang's all here. What? Whoa. 